Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. So, this is a game called Everspace. I thought this, I've been playing uh, some of this um, not on the channel, and I thought maybe it might be something that I could actually share on the channel and show everyone to see if uh, you'd be interested in seeing more of it. So, Everspace is what can be best described as a roguelike game in space. You have to do runs of it. Uh, you have uh, credits which you have to spend before the run and then you die and you lose you lose uh, everything but your uh, like weapons and your uh, upgrades so I'm gonna talk through the, the various sections so this is the initial uh, start here so here's your first ship you start off with this is a colonial interceptor so you can see all stats here like hit points uh, max number of jumps uh, number of jump maximum um, weapon slots secondary weapon slots that's pretty good now you can scroll for the different weapons now look at these some of these do look pretty badass so you can unlock these I think that, that one's 10,000 credits so yeah we're not getting that just yet so look at that one Ooh, what's that one called a gunship nice so it's got four Actually, where's the weapon slots on that one? There we go. So that's got two primary, two secondary. Oh, yeah, that looks a good one. Um, let me go back. So I'm starting off with this one, the basic one. So you can alter your uh, loadout on this. You can alter the, uh, the, the, the colors, I guess they're called. Uh, so go and change all the uh, colors. I could just paint it all red if I wanted. Uh, that's can go oh quite like that that's pretty nice I don't know if the orange goes with the uh let's see can we make it all I suppose orange does orange does quite go with it that does look pretty badass so you can change your um your setup in here you can change your weapons I've not unlocked any other weapons at the moment so yeah we can't so uh, perks. Now, perks are what you, I guess you'd call the attributes of your ship. So, I've got one and a half thousand to spend on perks here. Anything that's got a plus next to it means you can uh, upgrade it. So, for instance, uh, if I upgrade... Now, let's see. Credit loop, loop bonus. Now, that's going to cost $300. And it increases the amount of credits found, percentage-wise. Um, if I unlock that one, which I can't afford it, that'll give me better loot. So let's try and up, mm, let's do something that's going to be useful. So sector scanner. So this unlocks retrieval, unlocks trading. That sounds pretty interesting. Let's uh, let's get that. So we need to get level four in this to where uh, so it's north of four. Are we going to be able to afford this? No, no, can't afford it. Right, device slots. Uh, devices are like consumables, I believe. So we're gonna get an upgrade in that, and then we're gonna launch. Actually, before we launch, let me go back. Do show more. So you can do a uh, difficulty: normal, easy, or hard. So easy, you get less credits, lower threats, you get more resources. Um, warships and stuff arrive later, so yeah, it's, it's pretty easy on that one, but then it's pretty hard on that one. Let's go for just normal. I will die, and it'll probably be quick, and then I can talk about all the perk stuff again. So, I think I this, got this figured out. Ooh, there is actually a story on this as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, there is two different um, view styles on this, which is pretty cool. So. You can go in first person and second person. So let me just go to my um, controls. Right, so you can, you can play key. I'm playing with uh, keyboard and mouse at the moment. So these are all the controls. You can do rolls. You can strafe up and down. Um, I want to do the point of view. Uh, I think it's V. Yeah, that's... Uh, Let's dive back in. So you can play as a first person like that. Which does look pretty cool. Or you can play as third person like that. Or you can play borderless like that. So I'm going to play on this one. I normally play third person. Let's have a little look. Now that is where to get to the next sector. You hover over it. Your engine will start cycling. Um, red is an enemy on the map. 
blue is a resource. So we're going to go and head towards all of this. Yellow are neutral. So you can see there's a bit of a battle going on over here. Let's try and uh, help out. Ooh, now there's a resource. So look there, mineable ore. I can fly to that and get that. I want to try and help out these. So middle mouse button is a missile lock. Let's, let's try and get in. Press R to do weapon overdrive as well. All right, let's get in. Let's get fighting. And switch to me Gatlin. Me Gatlin is better when the, the shield is gone. Where's he gone? Oh. Wow, I've got potato away. There you go. Credits and some fuel. Ooh. I think I've angered someone. Right, let's get his shield down. Shield is down. Switch to a uh, chain gun. Oh, the uh, red, little red aiming thing is where you need to aim, which is just ahead. Switch back to the laser. As you can see, it's quite frantic once it gets going. Uh, top top left is my uh, shield and armor, so I'm okay with both at the moment. Let's just get him with a missile. There we go. Right, let's talk about lootage. So there's been a bit of a battle. There's loot. So here's a good thing. So this is a weapon. Now, if you fly next to it, oh no, fly next to it. Press F. This compares your two weapons. So you can see here, I've got a pulse weapon as my standard. And I can switch to that one, Scattergun. So, as you can see, the Scattergun does better DPS. Doesn't do as good uh, shield DPS. Fire rate is... It's a faster fire rate. Um, hmm. So it's going to be a really close uh, range weapon, that one. So... It might be advisable to switch it, switch it over with that one. Yeah, we're gonna we'll swap it over with that one. So if you press F, swaps it over. And now if you press uh, R for salvage, I can salvage my old Gatling gun. Get five scrap and three ore. There we go. That's that looted. Right. What else is that? Now I will say the it is kind of annoying the looting system on this. You do end up with a lot of dots on the screen. End up spinning round in a circle trying to find it all. Right, we're going to go and collect all of this. Uh, shift boost as well. Uh, the thing I pressed before, weapons overdrive, is R, which makes your weapons more effective. Now, it looks like there's a big, uh, big battle going on here. Let's try out my new scatter gun. What? Oh, it's like a shotgun. Oh, that's, wor that's well worse than my last weapon. Oh, so you have to hold it down. Did I hit him or not? I'm not actually sure if I hit him. Right, let's lock onto him. Wow, that's, that's really hard to aim. Oh, I do not like that. Right, if you look under my crosshair there, I've also got an energy bar, the green thing. So that scatter gun uses loads of energy. So I don't think I'm going to be using that anymore on this run. Somebody else is getting me by the look of it. Ow, ow, ow. My shield is going down. Ooh, what's getting me? What is getting me? I really don't know what was shooting me then. Um, I don't know what was getting me. Sometimes there's turrets around these uh, asteroids. It might have been that. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can collect. Whoa, yeah, there's definitely something there. What is it? There we go. Look, it's an outlaw cannon. Have a missile. Have another one. Go on. There we go. We've got some scrap from that. Right, let's see if we can get this uh, missile now. So, 
we can compare that to our light missile. So we've got 12 light missiles. So this new one is better shield damage. So, yeah, we're going to take that. Be good for taking them down. Let's go and collect the scrap. Okay, and let's, uh, let's walk to the next sector, I think. I think I've... Uh, there is some credits there. It, it is worth picking up credits. You'd be, you'd be crazy not to. Ooh, coil gun as well. Ooh, interesting. What is a coil gun? Okay. It's a primary weapon. Um... Now, me, the current gun I've got doesn't do hull damage. So that might be better. Hmm, you know what? Oh, no, we don't want to salvage it. We want to swap it. There we go. Check this bad boy out now. Right, this is a coil gun. Nice. I like that. Right, let's warp to the next sector. So, warp to the next sector. Hover over the uh, warp point, And away we go. Okay, and then this is the point where you get to... Uh, it's a bit, it reminds me a bit like a uh, FTL almost, because you can choose where you want to tra travel to. Well, granted, I can't really see a lot of information about these yet, so they come later with different perks, so we're going to just randomly head to that sector and see what we bump into. Okay. Now, you do have to explore around a little bit when you first jump in. The warp point won't immediately appear. You, you have very limited... Um, distance of what you can actually see as well um, for instance if you notice now there's not an awful lot I can see I can see over here a blue thing plasma field let's head towards that on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure so far as their monopoly is concerned their close working relationship with the colonial fleet was undoubtedly a factor okay and the story does unlock as you go along won't spoil you by saying Professor any of it. Plasma automatically when Ooh, you let's get some of this then. Nice, I got some plasma. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing else here, but if we go and explore, we can go and explore. So this looks like a wrecked ship. Let's go and see if, or a station. Let's go and see if there's any, uh, any loot. Sometimes there's a uh, loot on these things that you can. Uh, shoot contain oh wow that looks like a big battle okay so look now we've seen there's a container over here this will be a tech container oh no it's not a tech container it's a standard one let's go and investigate this so orange ones like this you need to shoot so there's compound and credits in that one nice sometimes the pirates like to leave these as traps and you will find as you go and investigate something and then they will spawn so I can see over there there's a freighter over there so let's uh, explore this a little bit more. And then we're going to head towards the freighter. Right. Now, you can sort of look around and see, figure out where to go. Look, I'm sure there's something there. Let's uh, go towards the freighter first. Now, you can actually... These are neutral, the gold ones, but you can actually aggro them, shoot them, and try and loot them. So you can see this one here has got a... Uh, this is a couple of fighters, so... There's not really anything to loot on that. You could fight them if you wanted to, but... I don't want to. Um, I wanted to find that interesting looking structure over here. Now that looks like a plasma field again, so let's go towards that. There's something... I, I'm suspicious about an asteroid. It looks too too well lit. Let's go and see if this is a plasma field. Yeah. So this is kind of frustrating that you have to explore like this, but then again, I suppose it's good because it doesn't give you it all on the plate. Let's go and collect me some plasma. Nice. Now, where was that suspicious asteroid? This will just end up being a normal asteroid now. Because that looks like a normal asteroid field, doesn't it? I'm not seeing anything suspicious here. Although that looks like a... Is that where we came from, though? I 
I think that's where we came from. To see where the uh, wrecked stuff is. Yeah, I think this uh, sector's a bust. Yeah, that's where the uh, the wrecked stuff was before. I must say though, it is really good graphically. This game, though, it is reminds me. It's I used to play uh, Evil Line years ago, and it's really, really nice sort of uh, graphics for the spaceships. But I like the roguelike element though; it's really awesome. Okay, next sector. Okay, let's travel to that one. Let's see if we can get to the next sector before we die. Right, what have we got? We've got a fighter. A couple of fighters there. Oh, we've actually got a uh, fuel transport. So, you could shoot that, get the fuel out of it. Let's go and have a little look at it. Sometimes that's stuff next to it you can collect. So, look, there's a ship right next to this. Now, I could actually shoot that at the back. If you see, we just fly around there. So, look there. I could actually shoot that there and get some fuel out of it, but I think that'd probably be a terrible idea. I'm gonna go investigate. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna go and investigate this. Uh... Ooh, can I steal this off the back of the ship? Will it aggro them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a. <laughs> that, that, that is aggro dumb. Let's get my shield booster on. I can't actually see where they are at the moment. Who's actually shooting me? Ow! Ow! And I'm dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> Note to self: Don't don't steal tech off hangers. Okay. So now. That is the end of that run. So now we start again. And we can now go to perks. And we've got more money. So I can spend more money on this. I can upgrade this again. There you go. I've now unlocked uh, trading. So get more out of traders. Mm -hmm. I could buy that. I could get more hull up upgrade points. There you go. That now gives me the option to upload my upgrade my speed. Sorry, and I can't afford to buy anything else. So let us launch. Oh, hang on, no, we've selected the wrong slip ship. Okay, let's try easy. So launch. So as you can see, normal is quite challenging. Let's see the difference between normal and easy. So away we go again. So there's all unlockables there. Earn 5,000 credits or more in a single run, destroy 10 Okar units, and destroy 10 of another type. Ooh, I've not heard of either of those uh, creatures yet. Now, straight away, I can see there is a battle going on. Let's go and have a little nosy. Now, you're interested if you don't, you, you, you keep the perks, but you don't keep the weapons. So you can see I've, I'm back to the standard weapons again now. Oh, there's a fight going on over here. There's also... Mineable crystal. Oh, mineable crystals are pretty. Uh, they look pretty sweet. Let's. Uh, I'll go and show you one of those. Let's try and uh, dive in here and help these out. Let's get the weapon upgrade on. Come on. Get the Gatling gun. Come on. Nice. Thank you. Uh. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Get the lock on. Nice. Shield breaker missile. Oh, that's the thing from before, isn't it? I'm still undecided if they're better. I mean, I have got 20 um, standard missiles. I think I'm going to keep those for the moment. Right, so what, what other collectibles are there? So, there's the missiles. Oh, there's a crystal in here. Let me go and show you the crystal. So you will see things like this where it'll say mineable crystal. So I come in here. Ooh, what's that? Tech container. Nice. Right. Mineable crystal. Fly up close to it. Shoot it. There you go. Should get a couple of units out of this. Nice. 
Now let's see, can I shoot these rather than bumping into them? Oh, you can. I did not know you could do that. What a noob I am. Okay, let's fly to this. So what's this? So this is a new shield unit. Um, it's got less hit points. What? Why is that? Why is that a better? Why is that shown as a better one? I guess it's because it's shut down for not as long and recharges better. Well, we'll give it a go. It's meant to be better than what I've got. I'm unsure if I believe that or not. Um, is there anything else to? I'll just gas the. Okay, so there's some fighters coming here. Hmm. Now, was there any help? Oh, interesting enough. Look, look. Here. Oh, he's protecting this. Ooh. Oh, I'm so tempted to shoot those. Uh, it's... Oh, I've not got a chance. The enemies are coming. Wow. Wow, that got real quick. Ow, let's get my shield back up. Okay, need to get my shield up. That totally took me by surprise. Let's get the Gatling on. Come on. Don't know where the uh, my buddy's gone trying to help me. Nice. There's one left, I believe. Where is he? There he is. Come on. Shoot you in the face. His shield is going down. In fact, his shield is down, I think. Let's just get him. Let's do this. Right, so we collected the processor then. Uh, I've, I've only got seven missiles left now, so let's, let's go and swap this out then. Now, health, health points top left. You can see my health has actually gone down now. Um, that's because I've not got any na nanobots at the moment, so I can't actually repair. Nanobots are something that you get which will help you uh, repair your health. I've just picked up some plasma mines there. That's quite, pretty interesting. So, if I press... Uh, ooh, where is it now? Not that one. Right, let's, so let's go to the devices. So... I've got consumables there, so you can see I've got a shield booster, and I've also got this um, plasma mine, so I could actually just switch to that. So let's switch to that. Um, let's equip it. Now you can see I've got plasma mines, well, I can press with C, so that might be quite fun to use in a little while. Let's, uh, let's just quickly go to the next sector. There we go. Let's leave that behind. Now, um, let's talk about the map. So, you can look on the map, you may notice different colours. So, these are risk factors. So, you can see this way here is actually a more dangerous risk. This is a medium risk one. So, you could avoid that by going to that one or that one. So, let's go and look. let's go for the easy route. Let's avoid all that nastiness. Now, what have we got to... It's that, it's that excitement of jumping in and not knowing what you're jumping in on. And it sort of reminds me a bit like uh, FTL. My jump coordinates are received. I'm going to go and try and get this ore. Oh, wrong weapon. There we go. Let's go and get this ore. Now, it does tell you when it's fully mined. So you can see there, fully mined. Nothing left in it. Okay, so there's some, uh, what's over here? There's an outlaw drone, an outlaw scout. Does lot, look, doesn't look like any structures or anything, though. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of annoying having to fly around and discover the stuff because it's, as it's so dimensional, like three, third dimensional, you know, it's it, it's a bit immersive. I mean, it's like that there. You can go, oh, 
I know that's a plasma field. I can fly to that and loot that. But a lot of the other stuff you're thinking, I'm just going to fly towards something for no, for no reason. All right, let's go and get this plasma. So I can see something over there. There's a transport, a fuel transport. I've not seen anything else, though. There's a couple of enemies there. And there is... Ooh, crystals. Yeah, we'll go and get them. And you can find traders and trade a lot of this stuff. Oh, yeah, I nearly crashed into a rock. Let's get in here. Ooh, secrets. Nice. Somebody's uh, left a container there. That's, uh... What was in it? What? Nothing was in it. Have I just, like, activated the trap? Right. Let's get some crystals. Come on. Give me my crystal. More crystals. Nice. Um. So, do you know what I said about a trap? <laughs> that outlaw is that outlaw has ever sneaked up on me. Right, come on. Come on, let's have it. Come on. Oh, come on. How can you survive that? I think there's two. Take your shield down. Shield down. Oh, ramming. Where's he gone? I know he's over this way. Let's just missile him. Nice. Let's finish him off with a Gatlin. Nice. We've got some credits and a bit of plasma from that. It looks like some reinforcements have come. Oh, oh. Wow, these have got some punch. Now, I've got plasma mines. So we've deployed one of them. I am vastly outnumbered here, so I am just literally using all my missiles. Nice. So that was pretty frantic. Right, so what's this uh what's this down here? Tech container. Ah oh, no, I didn't see that before. That must be when I was exploring the uh the rock. My health isn't too good though. So where is it? Is it in the asteroid? Hmm. It might be on the opposite side of it. We might have to uh go out and swing round. Where is it? Oh, here it is, hidden. Right, what we're going to get? Hopefully, it's going to be a sweet gun. Oh, nanobots! Nice. We've got a new color as well. Now we've got two nanobots now, so if we uh, we should be able to uh, heal up. Let's see. So, if we go to repair, we've got two nanobots, and we can choose what we want to repair. I want to repair... Well, it's only, it's only the hull damage, but we're going to... Hmm. Let's just repair and escape. And you should see that going up, and it's used my nanobots up, so... Bit of a, it sucks a bit that your nanobots are consumable to such an extent that you just have none left but then again the idea of this game is you keep dying you keep surviving so let us go to the next sector now we need more missiles as well we're oh, we've been spotted okay get overdrive on 
Try and take him out. Come on. Best aim ever. Oh, nice. We've got some nanobots out of that. I'm going to grab them quick. Woo! And some more fuel. Oh, fuel is top right as well. I think I've completely forgotten to talk about that. Some more credits. Yeah. If you run out of fuel, you can't do any more jumps. So you'll have to go and mine an asteroid. Or um, kill enemies and get fuel. Right. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on here. So there's some more crystals. Let's go and explore the crystals because... We always seem to find nice tech when we go and get the crystals. Well, I say always, the one time I've looked in this video. So we need to figure out how to get in. This looks like an opening. Okay, we're going in. We're going deep. We've got the wrong weapon on. Right, that's that mind. Now there is another one on the other side. If we try and get through. Here we go. Now, I don't think we found any tech in this one. We've got some crystals though. Right, let's have a little look. So there was a uh, mineable ore over there, mineable gas there. More mineable gas there. I think I'm going to rush to the end of the level, actually. Because I want to sh show you what happens when you get to the end of a sector. So, YOLO, let's go. Okay. Quickly travel. So this is the end end of level uh, sector gate, where you travel to the next sector. The, the jump gate. So... Ooh, there's a bit of a battle going on there. There's a trade. Who's that trader shooting at? Oh, nice. There's all sorts of stuff here. Equipment transport and... Yeah, there's lots of stuff I can interact with. Right. Some ore over there. There's a mining drone getting... Oh, no, the, the mining drone's just got all the ore. Now... I'm looking for a trader. Now, I think the trader was over here. So, let's show you the uh, trading aspect of this game. So, I did unlock that trade ability before. Trading ship? It is. So. Quite fortuitous to encounter one in these parts. Nice. So, you fly towards it. And it shows you the docking point here. So, you just fly towards it. There you go. Trade items. So... This is what you can do with the trading. So you can see here, I can turn the scrap I've collected into $330. Click on that. Uh, I can turn the missiles into processors. Um... Oh no, 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 no. I, I've realized I've done that the wrong way around. I've misread that. I've just given my money and bought scrap. Why did I just do that? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Right. I could get rid of the crystals and get some an energy injector. Um, I could get get rid of the plasma and get some missiles. Oh, I can't actually uh, do that at the moment. Actually, I can. I can get rid of the shield breaker. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Um, what does an energy injector do? Oh, it instantly adds a small amount of energy to your core. I don't really want any of that stuff. I do want to go to the jump gate though. So let's get to the jump gate. Oh, that's a good job. No, I've got motion sickness watching this. Right, here's the jump gate. You just walk towards it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, approach it. Till it starts saying it's sinking. Here we go. Connecting to jump gate. Jump confirmed. Initiating launch. And there we go. Sector 1. Boom! Done. Well, We're now in Sector 2. What the heck? And Sector 2 looks like it's got all sorts... What the heck's that? Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, I'm already getting shot at. Uh, I don't think so. 
little drones they're quite easy to kill so what was that cool stuff I saw then so I'm gonna go and have a look investigate at this I don't care I'm investigating this for a demilitarized zone this place sure sees a lot of action the demilitarized zone is the boundary nice. between colonial and Okar claims after So that must be like an elite uh, fighter. To last until a peace can be Hopefully the uh, they're gonna get all the enemies that are chasing me. They hold authority over the zone. And then I can just get that sweet loot. Yeah. And get them sweet credits. And then, of course, the outlaw elements. Of course. And there's a comms hub there as well. Well, I think uh, that's all I'm going to show you for the game for now. So this is Everspace. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my completely unplanned uh, video for it. I was just playing it and enjoying it that much that I thought maybe, you know, this might be kind of cool to show on the channel and show you show you off some of the stuff because when I first started playing this, I uh, I was like, I don't have a clue what I'm doing because the tutorial only takes you so far. So it's kind of fun to uh, learn as you go along. Anyway, that's it for now. If you want to see some more of this on the channel, leave a like and a comment. And uh, if you've got any queries about anything to do with the game, leave uh, a comment also. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. This is Everspace. See you next time.